Hey friends, my name is Lindsay Williams and welcome to Endeavor Wellness Yoga. Today we are doing a feel good yoga practice, something to get you feeling good all the way down to your bones. If you like this practice, please remember to like, share, and or subscribe and meet me at the top of the mat. Please find a comfortable seated position on your mat and close your eyes. We are going to begin our practice with just becoming grounded in our bodies. Feel your bottom on the ground and your legs folded against one another. Feel your hands resting on the tops of your legs. Roll your shoulders down and back away from your ears. Sitting up tall, extending out through the crown of your head, relaxing all the muscles in your face. Begin to notice your breath. Take three deep breaths here. On the inhale, counting to five. And on the exhale, counting to five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, Four, three, two, one. Inhale your arms up and overhead. Exhale them down to your heart center. Again, inhale. Exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Blink your eyes open. Go ahead and let's start by rolling our shoulders. So bring them up to your ears and roll them back. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's go the other direction. Bring them up and forward. Two more times. And one, wonderful. Let's go ahead and roll our neck. Let's go ahead and begin to roll your neck one direction, letting your head hang heavy. And moving the other direction. Wonderful. Go ahead and come to a seated position. We're move to all fours. Move with the cat and cow here. So inhale, cow, roll those shoulders back. Bring your chest through your shoulders. Tailbone towards the sky. Exhale, cat. Soften your chin towards your chest. Roll your your spine towards the ceiling of the sky. Inhale. And exhale. Move at your own pace here. I think I just got bit by a mosquito, guys. Return to a neutral spine here. Go ahead and grab your blocks. You want to put them on the lowest setting here. So with them on the lowest setting, go ahead and rest your arms on them. And we're doing a puppy pose with our 
arms resting on the box. So basically, if you want, what I want you guys to think about doing is starting on all fours and then lowering down to your elbows and then lowering down into your upper arms rest on the block. Doing a puppy pose here. You can let your head rest on the blocks also. Breathing deeply. Coming back up, go ahead and rest those forearms on your blocks. I want to step back into a forearm plank here, okay? So tuck our toes, we're going to step back with our right foot, step back with the left, lower the right knee, lower the left knee. Let's do it again, just lift up your left knee, lift up your right knee, lower the left knee, lower the right knee. So one more time, lift the right knee and the left knee. Let's hold here and lower down the left and then the right and pushing back into that puppy pose here. This time your forearms on the blocks, stretching out your upper arms and your chest. Thinks about lowering your chest as low as you can to the ground. Coming back, let's do that forearm plank one more time. Tuck those toes, lift the right knee and the left knee. Thinking about making your body one long line of energy. Lower the left and the right. Picking up the left, picking up the right. Hold, three, two, one. Lowering the right and the left. Let's do it one more time. Picking up the right and the left. Hold, three, two, one. One, lowering the left and the right. Wonderful, back into that puppy pose. Forearm plank is a great way to build energy, to build heat as we start to limber up and warm up for our practice. All right, coming up into all fours. You can move the blocks aside. Go ahead and tuck those toes. Push back to the first down dog of the practice. You can walk your dog out if you'd like. Feeling the stretch in your hamstrings and your calves. Go ahead and shift your weight into plank. Doing something similar here. Let's hold. Remembering to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Three, two, one, and push back. Mmm, breathing here, walking your dog out if you like. If you notice, we're doing the same, similar thing that we did before. So moving from down dog and then into a regular plank instead of moving for, from a puppy pose into forearm plank. Let's go ahead and move into regular plank. And we're gonna hold here, one long line of energy. Hold, three. Remember to breathe, two, and one. Shifting back, down dog. Go ahead and walk those hands towards your feet. I'm gonna inhale, coming halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Let's go ahead and spread out our feet a little bit wider, and we're just gonna slowly rotate our torso dragging our hands with it side to side just moving a little bit more here remember to breathe filling our lungs with air taking time to treat ourselves coming to the middle and slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time Brilliant, coming to the top of your mat, spreading your legs out wide, and we are just gonna sink and melt into a wide leg at four fold, curving forward, and then pushing back up with our hands. Drop our head back, squeeze our shoulder blades together, and sink 
into this wide leg a squat inhale pushing back up let's do that again inhale sinking 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 mm. exhale pushing up so one more time inhale sink down melt down here inhale push up wonderful inhale sweep your arms up exhale give yourself a hug love yourself inhale and exhale give yourself another hug inhale and then exhale we are going to rotate our feet into triangle pose so my right foot is turned out towards that front angle of the mat and this back foot is perpendicular it's a little turned in exhale sweeping our arms stretching towards the right side and then lowering down you can place your hands on a block or on your leg or your foot whichever is most comfortable here holding here in triangle pose three two and one strong work look towards your block we're gonna inhale coming up exhale release this time inhale exhale bring your arms together inhale spread your arms wide stretch and exhale sweep your arms close one last time inhale and then exhale shift and triangle the other side shift your away our hip away from our left hand as we reach down and holding here remember you can always put your hand on a block holding here for three two and one coming up exhale release we're gonna bring coming down into a wide leg up forward fold and you're doing a twist here so inhale your arm up exhale holding here for three breaths two and one excellent bring it down other side inhale the arm up left arm up doing a twist here in our thoracic spine opening up here three two and one wonderful bring it back down walking those arms out into a big dog holding here three two and one wonderful we're going to sweep our arms behind us so let's start by just clasping our hands so eventually if you can clasp your hands it's wonderful if not just go ahead and hold here that is fine so whichever is most comfortable if you need to put a little bend to your knee please do so you don't have to have your legs perfectly straight so either grabbing your elbows or clasping your hands and then just let your arms fall off your back Holding here, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Move it into Skandasana. So we're actually going to come, which is a side lunge. We're gonna bend our right knee and coming down to the side, to the side lunge, and holding here, feeling the stretch straighten the leg and moving to the other side filling your stretch right here in those inner thighs moving to the other side shifting your weight go ahead and move into a low lunge here drop that knee down we're going to inhale your arm up and then exhale release inhale exhale release and inhale one last time exhale release this time really think about reaching your chest towards the sky and leaning back as far as you can make sure you don't dump it to your low back here so protect your low back this should not hurt your back just think about stretching your chest towards the sky three two and one strong work go ahead tuck that back toe lift up that back knee and we're just going to further that stretch here 
and just go ahead and shift your weight back and forth here and now we're gonna rotate to the side back of the skandasana or that side lunge move to the other side same thing other side moving from the side lunge move it into this low lunge here drop that knee on the ground we're gonna inhale our arms up exhale release inhale exhale release inhale exhale release this time really think about reaching your chest towards the sky don't dump it to your low back engage that core five four you might lose your balance that's okay hold it to your box you need to three two and one release strong work guys go ahead and let's deepen that stretch tuck under that back toe lift your knee off the ground feeling the stretch here open back up into that side angle move it back to the middle strong work wide leg at four full big dog placing your hands on your hips inhale coming all the way up wonderful jumping to the middle to samas titihi whoop okay let's do a balance pose all right so let's work on our utita hasta padangustasana so utita is extended hasta is hand padang is your big toe gustasana is i think gusta is your foot so it's your hand grabbing the big toe of your foot pose okay um, so the full expression of the pose if you want to try it we take our right hand two fingers and grabbing our big toe and we just stretch and hold here if you want to do that awesome if it's more comfortable grab that knee grab that knee we're just gonna hold here think about keeping your hips level four these mosquitoes are eating me up three two and one hands to your heart center moving out to the side five stretching tall four three two and one strong work let's do the same thing other side before another mosquito gets me two big fingers grab your big toe extending that leg out or just keeping your knee here holding your knee here five four three two one open out to the side hands to your heart center five four three two and one strong work ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and come down to the mat okay come on top of the mat inhale arms overhead exhale coming down lowering down like you're moving down in the elevator coming all the way down to the mat lowering slowly lowering down slow 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 ah nice grab that right knee to your right chest roll that ankle clockwise then counterclockwise cross that knee across your chest and hold five four three two and one on twist right foot in that right hand and half happy baby or straightening the leg out whichever you prefer five four three two and one release same thing on the side left foot sorry left knee left chest rolling your ankle clockwise and counterclockwise crossing your knee across your chest holding five four three two and one untwist left foot in that left hand holding here half happy baby five four three two 
and one lowering down. Strong work, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this feel-good flow of something to relax you and just get you grounded in your bodies. Remember to stay here in Savasana for three to five minutes to enjoy the full benefits of your practice. I'm so glad you came by and practiced with me today. And until next time, namaste.